Now, sir, we have discussed a lot. Uh, what we can do to increase the sperm quality? Yeah. So, always every patient asks this particular question. Mm -hmm. How to increase sperm quality? Mm -hmm. So, uh, there are few things which we can do. Mm -hmm. Especially when we come to uh, the habits. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the males, they do smoking. Mm -hmm. Smoking is injurious to health. Yes, yes. <laughs> but then... Uh, they are not bothered. Hmm. But smoking is very uh, uh, very much a problem for a reproductive function also. Okay. So, if you uh, do smoking, regular smoking, then the sperm quality will come down. Hmm. Maybe there will be sperm number will be there, hmm. but the quality of the sperms will come down. Hmm. Even though pregnancy happens, the chance of abortion is also high. Okay. So, smoking is a problem. So, if you are smoking, then definitely smoking has to be stopped. Hmm. And you are not supposed to go near to a person who smokes also. Excessive alcohol, hmm. then this is all this tobacco chewing, marijuana, all those things oh, chewing that is that is dangerous for sperms. Then, I asked the question, what do we need to do to increase the quality of the animals? He said that the reason and the problem is in the quality of the animals is the treatment. The treatment is the treatment and also the medicines like the alcohol. والخمور جميع هذه الأشياء تسبب الأمراض للجسد وأيضا هذه تكون السبب كاف لجعل الحيوانات المنية ذاته غير يعني في غير الز... إذا التدخين والمخدرات يعني شرب الخمور الأشياء هكذا تسبب الأمراض للجسد وهي السبب كاف لجعل الحيوانات المنية ميتة يعني بدون أي جودة uh, no. Uh, again, uh, one few more things are there which will reduce the sperm count. Now, obesity is a big problem. Everybody is obese. When obesity is there, the fat in the body increases. Okay? But the fats in the thigh also increases, stomach increases, mm -hmm. and the testicular region, there also fat increases. Now, when the fat increases, the local temperature also increases. Mm -hmm. Okay? And because of this fat, again, that uh, because of the increase in temperature, the sperm quality will come down. Then one more thing is there with the fat, because when obese people are there, their FSH hormone which comes from the brain, it is not sufficient for the sperm production. Mm. Then the sperm quality also will come down. So obesity is a big problem. Weight has to be reduced. Mm. It is always better to be uh, thin and slim than obese to get pregnant. كما ذكرنا من قبل إن زيادة الوزن سبب كافي. لعدم الإنجاب يعني يسبب العقم من اللازم أن نقلل الوزن لأن الدهون الموجودة في البطن يعني في موجودة في جسم الإنسان تسبب زيادة درجة الحرارة لذا يكون التورم بعض الأحيان في خصية الذكر وهذا تسبب العقم لدى الذكر There are few jobs uh, that also will decrease the sperm because of the temperature of their, uh, the area where they work for example, uh, chefs, mm. uh, those who work in restaurants, the drivers, mm. uh, uh, train drivers, especially diesel mm. engine drivers, not the electric yeah. uh, train drivers, the diesel engine. Then uh, those who are working in software, uh, you are not supposed to keep laptop for a long time above your lap. It increases the temperature. Mm. Those who are work working in building. So all these things. Mm. So if you have an opportunity to change your job, it is better to change the job because uh, your sperm count comes down. We have seen a lot of patients after having one child mm. and they come with no sperms. That is because of all this, because of the heat, the environment, the heat itself is a problem for getting pregnancy, especially work related heat, not the nature related heat, but mm. the work related heat. يجري القطار يعني قطار القديمة إن إنهم يعملون ويشتغلون في بيئة حارة وهذا يسبب وهذا سبب كافي لعدم إنتاج الحيوانات المنية وتكون بعض الأحيان هذه الحيوانات المنية ميت. Oh, so it was excellent information about male infertility and so what about the female infertility? Yeah, 
so as i discussed earlier mm. the uh, fertility chance in male means the problems with the male is around 50% and with the female is around 50% mm. now uh, before i go exactly into the female infertility a big question always every female ask mm. to the doctors is that when to try for pregnancy mm. okay mm. so uh, that is a big thing you know uh, you have to try pregnancy on day 14 or day 17 or day 20 when to try for getting pregnancy but let me tell you one thing see once you have intercourse the sperms can live inside the female for 3 to 7 days up to 3 to 7 days the sperms can live so once you uh, like you know once the period is over you can have intercourse every 2 or 3 days mm. means giving giving a gap of 1 or 2 days you can have intercourse so uh, you are not don't need to worry about when ovulation is going to happen so that is a big stress on the husband also because he has to perform on 12th day or 14th day to get pregnancy uh, which becomes really difficult so what you have to do is once the period stops every alternate day or once in 2 or 3 days you have intercourse don't no need to have intercourse daily but once in 2 or 3 days that is ideal to get pregnancy عندما ننتقل الموضوع الى عقم النساء ان النساء كلهن يسال متى هي الوقت المناسب للانجاب لكن الدكتور قال اجاب عندما تنتهي الدوره الدمويه الشهريه بيوم او يومين يمكننا ان نمارس العلاقه الجنسيه يوم يعني مره في يومين ناخذ نعملها مره في يومين وهذه طريقه وهذه وسيله طيبه للانجاب الصحي نو نو اي ويل تيك يو تو ذا ديتيلز اوف فيميل انفيرتيلتي اوكي سو the majority of the problem nowadays we see with the females especially mm. young females is polycystic ovaries mm. now the incidence of polycystic ovaries is increasing okay mm. every uh, one in five females that is 20% of uh, females have infertility this thing polycystic ovary now why i'll tell you why this polycystic ovary is happening mm. one of the basic thing about polycystic ovary is because you are not doing enough exercise and you are eating more food so these two things will increase the chance of polycystic ovary mm. so if a person is identified with polycystic ovary then first thing they should do is you should reduce weight mm. by reduce by doing lot of exercise and then by reducing the amount of food which you take so these two things you have to okay. do you have to be more health conscious mm. uh, you know and you have to it is a metabolic disease it's a, you have to control it by changing your lifestyle that is very important اذا يقول ان السبب المهم في عقم النسائيه اننا نعاني من الاكياس يعني مرض الاكياس في المبيض وهذا السبب وهذا المرض سببها الاكل الطائل يعني الاكل من الخارج وعدم النشاطات والتمارين يعني اننا كسلانين الكسل اخذ بينا اذا بهذا السبب زاد كميه الامراض المرضى عدد المرضى في هذا ان ان كثيرا من النساء 20% نسبتهم لديهم نفس هذا المرض وهذا يسبب عقم النسائي والحل في ذلك النشاط المستمر يعني ابعاد والابتعاد عن الاكل الطائل من الخارج مثل الوجبات السريعه وان ناكل الطعام الصحي so uh, what happens in this polycystic ovaries uh, they have lot of eggs when, when we do scan Mm. each ovary will have around 15 plus x means more than 12x is the criteria for polycystic ovaries mm. but they may have 15 20x in each ovary mm. they have more o- more eggs but they are not ovulating properly mm. means eggs are there but mm. ovulation is not proper now uh, if i if you ask me how to uh, make that egg ovulated mm. then the best thing is again i told you by exercise and weight mm. reduction but again some medicines will help to increase the ovulation Mm. and then uh, we have a technique called laparoscopic ovarian drilling where we uh, drill the ovaries and then the ovulation happens mm. then uh, there are injections to help in ovulation mm. so by all this method mm. we can make the female ovulate and then she can have pregnancy so this is a technique for polycystic ovaries wal hal al mulaim li hadhihi al marda in al maridat ladayhim al bayd lakin inha ghair qadira lil intaj والانجاب في هذه الحاله يمكننا ان نعطي لهم الادويه المناسبه عن طريق التلقيح يعني عن طريق الحقنه وايضا هناك ادويه خاصه لهذا واهم شيء النشاطات المستمره 
وايضا نقصان الوزن الجسمي يعني ابتعاد عن الدهون الجسميه